<coughs> good morning children very good morning all of you today we are going to the new lesson of uh, unit 8 heat and thermodynamics in this lesson uh, we have um, see the following topics like us what do you mean by heat in work in temperature in ideal gas loss the concept of specific heat capacity in thermal expansions of solid liquid and finally gases and few of the topic will be we know that uh, reduced in our syllabus so we are mainly focusing about uh, Newton's laws of cooling in Stephen's law in Swain's law in meaning of thermodynamic equilibrium so first of all what do you mean by heat and temperature here temperature and heat play very important role in our daily life all spaces can function properly only if it is body is maintained at a particular temperature in fact life on the earth is possible because the sun maintains its temperature to understanding the meaning of temperature and heat are very crucial to understand the nature so thermodynamics is a branch of physics which explains the phenomena of temperature heat etc so the concept presented in this chapter will help us to understand the terms of hot and cold and also differentiate heat from temperature in thermodynamics heat and temperature are due different but closely related parameters the first topic we have jumped at uh, 8.2.4 anomalous expansions of water liquids uh, liquid expand on heating and contract on cooling at moderate temperatures we know that but water exhibits an anomalous behavior it contracts on heating between 0 degree celsius and 4 degree celsius the volume of the given amount of water decreases as it cooled from room temperature until it reached 4 degrees Celsius. Below 4 degrees Celsius, the volume increases and so the density decreases. This means the water has a maximum density at point of 4 degrees Celsius. This behavior of water is called as anomalous expansions of water shows in the figure of 8.5 ENB which means this one so it reaches at 4 degrees Celsius the water gains maximum density so in cool countries during the winter season the surface of the lakes will be at lower temperature than the bottom is shown in the figure of 8.6 this is an anomalous expansions of water in lakes okay so next we are going to move the topic of 8.6 calorimetry calorimetry means the measurements of amount of heat released or absorbed by the thermodynamic system during the heating process when a body at a high temperature is brought to in contact with another body at lower temperature, the heat lost by the hot body is equal to the heat gained by the cold body. So, no heat is allowed to escape from the surroundings. It can be mathematically expressed. The heat energy gain which is equal to the loss of heat energy. So, the minus term is move that size which means opposite size of equal sign so the term minus will be changes in signs of plus so heat gain the energy gain plus the energy lost becomes a zero so 
he gained or lost is measured with the calorimeter usually the calorimeter is an insulated container this is insulated container insulating wood by using of insulating wood showed in the figure so here a sample is heated at temperature at a high T1 in immersed into be water at room temperature T2 in the calorimeter. After some time, the both sample and water reaches final equilibrium temperature Tf. Since the calorimeter is insulated, heat given by the hot sample is equal to the heat gained by the water so this is the figure shields this the sample and in insulations of air in calorimeter cup insulating wood and cellulite and finally we are using a thermometer so the heat gain which is equivalent to minus of heat loss the sign conventions the heat loss is denoted by the negative sign and the heat gain denoted as positive. From the definitions of a specific heat capacity we know that the gain of heat energy we can uh, represent as M2, S2 and Tf minus T2. And loss of heat energy becomes M1, S1 and Tf minus T1 here. S1 and S2 or the specific heat capacity of the sample in water respectively. So we can write as this terms in this like this formations. So we can write as heat gain M2 S2 into Tf minus T2 and minus of minus and heat lost M1 S1 into Tf minus T1. So multiply the terms of M to S to in to T F minus T two. So we get that M to S to into T F minus M to S to minus T two. So applying the minus terms of entire terms. So minus M one S one into T F minus into minus plus. So M one S one in T one. So changing the signs which means m1 sorry m2 s2 tf here and the minus term moved the opposite side of the equal so we get the term will be positive term so m1 s1 and tf this term go that side so m2 s2 t2 plus m1 s1 t1 here the tf is the final temperature this is here common term so take it outside of the bracket so m2 s2 plus m1 s1 like this and remaining component will be here so we are measured the final temperature tf equal to m1 s1 t1 plus m2 s2 t2 by m1 s1 plus m2 s2 this is the final temperature next an important topic Newton's law of cooling. So this equation dq tells us dq by dt is nothing but rate of loss of heat energy. So the rate of loss of heat energy is directly proportional to the difference in the temperature between the body and its surroundings. So this is the temperature of the body. This is temperature of the surroundings. So Ts represent us. So once again I repeat the definitions from this equations. The rate of loss of heat energy is directly proportional to the difference in the temperature between body and its surroundings. So the negative sign indicates the quantity of heat lost by the liquid goes on decreasing with the time. Whereas here T be the temperature of the object. This and Ts be the temperature of the surroundings okay so here to draw the graph between time and temperature so the rate of cooling is high initially and decreases with fall with with temperature so 
So, let us consider any object having mass of small m in the specific heat capacity at temperature capital T. Let T s be the temperature of the surroundings. We know that if the temperature falls by a small amount of dt in time small dt then the amount of heat lost is dq equal to ms into dt. So dividing the equations 8.5 in both sides of dt. So dq by dt into sorry equal to ms dt by dt. We know that Newton's law of cooling dq by dt directly proportional to minus of t minus ts. Here both the equations whether 8.6 and this one is both the left hand side will be same and right are uh, equating the right hand side. So here the proportionality constants will be cancelled by applying of any proportionality constant. The proportionality symbol will be cancelled by applying of any proportionality constant. So this is so comparing this equations 8.6 and 8.7. So both are left hand side will be same. So we can write the right hand side here minus of a into t minus t s equal to m s t t by d t so this a go to the another side okay so a by m s or this term goes to the side and this term goes to this side so d t by dt by t minus t s in minus of a by m s into dt okay what do you understand once again repeat the term d minus t s go to the side so dt by t minus t s and this term goes to the side so minus of a by m s into dt okay so integrating both sides so applying of on the interval limits of 0 to infinity here 0 to t so dt by t minus tc not in tc ts surroundings minus of integral over 0 to t into a by mst so 1 by x into dx we can write as ln t minus ts because of you know the formula here or here integral over sorry integral over dt by t minus ts equal to integral over e by ms into dt okay so this is in the formations of integral over 1 by x into dx so we can write as ln x the similar way we can write as this equations ln t minus ts equal to minus term will be here so minus equal to minus of a by ms will be the constant the remaining term dt integrated we get the value of t n plus b1 be the constant okay this term so ln t minus t s equal to minus of a by m s into t plus b1 so here this equations here the terms of ln here we are moving this ln to that side so we get the value of t minus t s equal to exponential of minus of a by m s into t plus b1 okay so here the formula this is in the formations of e power e plus b so we can write as e power e into e power b so expand this formula expand this equations so t minus t s equal to e power minus a t by m s 
plus e power b1 okay so we can write as this equations the t is go to the side so we can put it right as t equal to t s plus this is the formations of e e then after which means not in e sorry put the value of multiply okay so here t s plus e power minus a t by m s into we have the value of e power b1 put us b2 so dot us b2 so write as our convenient d equal to t s plus b2 into e power a t by m s minus of so here e b1 equal to e b1 equal to b2 be the constant okay this is the newton law of cooling okay and next topic the laws of heat transfer so the laws of heat transfer every object emits radiations at all in finite temperature except zero kelvin as well as it is absorbed radiations from the surroundings for example if you touch someone they might feel your skin as either hot or cold a body at high temperature radiates more heat to the surroundings than it receives from it similarly a body at lower temperatures receive more heat from the surrounding than its losses to okay so previous to apply the idea of thermal equilibrium to the radiations is suggest that all the bodies radiate energy but hot bodies radiate more heat than the cooler bodies at one point the time exchange of heat from both the bodies will be become the same so according the previous theory tells us only absolute zero temperature a body will stop emitting therefore the previous theory says that all bodies emit the thermal radiations at all temperatures above absolute zero irrespective of nature of the surroundings in second 8.3.2 stephen boltzmann law so stephen boltzmann law state that the total amount of heat radiated per second per unit area as a black body is directly proportional to the fourth power of its absolute temperature so once again repeat the total amount of heat radiated per second per unit area of a black body is directly proportional to the fourth power of its absolute temperature so we can write as e directly proportional to t power 4 or we can write as e equal to sigma t power 4 whereas sigma is the stephen constant and its value of 5.67 into 10 power minus 8 w m power minus 2 and k power minus 4 okay this is wilson which means stephen boltzmann's law thank you